Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So guys, in this video we will discuss about the concept of synchronization in Java with real life example and we will also discuss about the types of synchronization. So let's start with the definition. What is synchronization? Synchronization in Java is the capability to control the access of multiple thread to any shared resource. That means in multi-threading, if multiple threads sharing the same resource, then the concept of synchronization says that only one thread will work on that resource at a time. So let me explain with a very basic example. In your family, you are four members and each member behaves like a thread and you have only one smartphone, which is common for all. That means a smartphone is a shared resource. Now suppose everyone wants to use this smartphone at the same time. Then you will understand the situation. Maybe after some time you will be fight for each other. So to resolve this problem, synchronization comes into the picture. Synchronization says that only one person can use the mobile phone at a time. So this is synchronization. Then why we use synchronization? When multiple threads are working simultaneously on the same resource, so there will be chance of data corruption. Data corruption that means uh, wrong results, incorrect information. Now, so real life example. Uh, traffic signal is uh, one of the best example of synchronization in Java. In this example, traffic signal is a shared resource between roads. Here you can say that it squares. And each road behaves like a thread. That means all roads share the traffic signal. And traffic signals allows only one road is open for vehicles at a time. So this is synchronization. The next is uh, types of thread synchronization. We can achieve synchronization with the help of two things synchronization method and synchronization block so synchronization method if we declare any method as synchronized it is known as synchronized method if we are using a synchronized keyword with a method then this is called synchronized method okay that means only one thread can access this method at a time and the other threads will be in a waiting state. And this is the syntax of synchronized method. We can define the access modifier, synchronized keyword for the synchronization and method. And we have to pass the parameters. Inside the synchronized method, you have to write the logic which is shared between the threads. Now next is synchronized block. Synchronized block can be used to perform synchronization on any specific source of the method okay so we are using synchronized block inside of a method and here lock object is nothing but a reference variable that has to be logged or synchronized and inside the synchronized block we write the logic which is common for all the threads Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.